what's going on, y'all. Check it out. Today we doing trice. But we doing trice two ways. First way, the St. Louis style. Second way, Louisiana style. Well, Louisiana is like, you know, a lot of y'all might not know. But I know, I think most of y'all do. You know, I was born in St. Louis, but I spent all, every summer in Louisiana. And I moved to Louisiana when I was in my 20s. Probably 21. No, actually, yeah, 21. I was 21. And I ain't come back to uh, 30. Stayed down there about 30 years, so I spent half my life down there. So this is inspired by Louisiana and inspired by St. Louis. So I'm going to get some fried fried for my wife. So we're going to do a stew type dish for me, Louisiana style. But anyway, let's get it. So yeah, yeah, take a look at this tripe. Now this is honeycomb tripe right here. Now while you here, don't forget to give me that LSS. Just that like, share, and subscribe. That like, share, and subscribe, yeah. But anyway, what we wanna do is take the pieces that are big and we can use for our sandwich pieces. We're gonna take those and cut those off straight away. You know, cause that tripe gonna have folds in it and some of it's gonna be all lumped up like this piece here. Now, see this piece here, even though it have all those folds in it and it's lumped up, it's perfect. Perfect for that stew tripe. So we gonna cut it up. Just like this, y'all. In the cube. Now when we get done trimming it up and cutting it up, this is what we got. Looks pretty good, y'all. That's enough stew meat for me and definitely enough sandwich meat for my wife. Now to a pot of boiling water, we've added one onion and our tripe. And we're gonna let this simmer for about three hours on medium. And while it's simmering, we're gonna add a little bit of lorries. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just to add a little flavor to it while it's cooking. But anyway, after three hours, we're gonna go ahead and get it out the pot. Now here's what they look like when they come out that pot. And they nice and tender, ready to be fried. And don't forget to check the seasoning on your pot. Now to our pot, we're gonna add a can of diced tomatoes. We're gonna give it a mix and mix and let this simmer while we season up our tripe. Now we're gonna hit our tripe with some salt, pepper, and some garlic, y'all. Once we get our tripe all seasoned up, we are gonna get into our bread. Now our bread is half flour, half cornmeal. But our flour do have a little salt pepper in it too, y'all. And once we get that tripe in, we are gonna get the lid on and shake them up and straight into some 350 degree cooking oil. Now I'm using vegetable oil here, but whatever oil you like. And we are gonna let this fry up until we get that nice golden brown color. Now is that tripe is almost done frying. We're gonna go ahead and add in our last 
ingredient to our stew, which is some macaroni noodles. Or you can use any kind of noodles you like, but today I'm using macaroni, yeah. Now we're gonna give that a mix. And of course, our fried tripe is ready, y'all. Yes, it is. About to make wifey her fried tripe sound. Oh yeah, take a look at wifey fried tripe sound. She got pickles, onions, mustard on it. Do a little extra onions on the side. You know she's still in the bed, can't walk right now, so I don't have to get it on up to her. And I know she wanted her some french fries. But look at it, don't it look tasty? Oh yeah, it looks tasty, y'all. And this is mine, that stew. Now I know everybody might not be hip to stew, but man, it's good. That was so good, y'all. But anyway, love, peace, and keep it grilling, y'all. See ya. <laughs>